A few years ago, one of my managers came into the office with some treats. I proceeded to devour multiple units of said treat. It was delicious. It was done out of my mind. Didn't think about it for a while, although it was kind of in the back of my mind. I've been seeing a lot of this treat kind of pop up lately, which is making me think that I guess I should make some. It's weaseling its way back into my life. I'm not upset about it. I'm gonna make some crock pot candy. I know it is crock pot candy. It's just basically a bunch of chocolate and nuts and stuff thrown into a slow cooker, cooked up, and it's perfect. I will be having this recipe today because I don't need all of it, but I will leave the full recipe linked down below in the description if you wanna check it out. There's only really a few ingredients, pretty easy. Let's get started. Welcome to the crock pot. Dump and go. I have my peanuts. Then comes the chocolate, milk chocolate. And these are just like dry roasted peanuts. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are the Reese's peanut butter chips. So delicious. On top of everything, almond bark. I think this is just vanilla. That's it. You don't have to mix anything in yet. I'm gonna throw this on low for an hour. Every now and again, I'm gonna come over and stir it up just to make sure nothing is burning. And then we will have nice, melty, gooey, delicious. This only has a couple minutes left on it. It is melty and chunky and beautiful. It smells divine. So when this finishes up, I'm gonna prep my little cups. I use these little cupcake liners and just put them on a sheet tray. Makes it much easier to transport. But now it's the messier part. I'm thinking about transferring this into a bowl that might be easier. Let's do it. Forget the bowl, I'm just gonna do it this way. <laughs> Give it one last stir. Oh, it's so glorious. It smells delicious. And you're just gonna scoop some of this into the cupcake liners, little blobs. And what this is gonna do is sit in the freezer for a couple of hours and it's gonna set up real nice. I think it's because of the almond bark. I don't know the science, but it works, which is all I care about. And of course, before popping these in the freezer, you know I gotta do it. A little bit of some flaky sea salt as always. I don't know if there's much better than chocolate and salt. Ugh. Especially sea salt. Delicious. These go in the freezer for like two, two and a half hours, and then they should be all set to leave out at room temperature or in the fridge. It's been a couple of hours and I have now taken these little babies out of the freezer. Took them out of the little cups and look at how cute they are. And that salt, I can't even handle it. Shall we try one? Okay. Look at the inside of this. Nuts. Mmm. The texture is so good. It tastes just like a candy bar. Mmm. That is so delicious. And they are so easy. I've seen a lot of different variations of these, but I'm always drawn to the classic, of course, as per usual. These are great to make in bulk, obviously. With that half batch, I got 32. So many snacks, great for a party, and it's different. You don't see these a lot, I don't think. Obviously, do not give them to someone with a nut allergy, but for the rest of us, this is where it's at. Give them a try, you will not be disappointed. Enjoy.